In the news this week, the Equalities Watchdog has urged the Scottish Government not to allow 16 and 17 year olds to change legal sex. Peers are attempting to amend a bill which aims to make offering prayer outside abortion clinics illegal. And a film examining the life of John Wycliffe is being screened around the UK. Hello. The Equality and Human Rights Commission has urged the Scottish Government to rethink plans to enable 16 and 17 year olds to change legal sex by self-declaration. Holyrood has approved an amendment to the Gender Recognition Reform Bill, doubling the wait for youngsters before they can change legal sex to six months, a change the Christian Institute criticised as little more than window dressing. The Parliament's Equalities, Human Rights and Civil Justice Committee rejected another amendment to exclude under 18s from the legislation. The Equality Commission said Holyrood should consider raising the age threshold to 18, highlighting that higher age limits apply for several matters that are of less significance than changing legal sex, such as purchasing alcohol and tobacco, getting a tattoo or driving a car. Free speech advocates have warned outlawing peaceful protest outside abortion clinics in England and Wales smacks of state censorship. Baroness Fox of Buckley and Lord Farmer hit out against plans to criminalise people for expressing pro-life opinions near abortion clinics. Under Stella Creasy's amendment to the government's public order bill, people who pray or offer advice to pregnant women within a 150 metre radius of an abortion clinic face possible imprisonment. Lord Farmer said it represented a move towards authoritarian censorship of minority views. This is not a totalitarian state which locks up dissenting voice. Lady Fox commented, this shrinking of free public space troubles me. Where will this go next? We must support the right to protest for all, not just the protesters we admire. A Cambridge student has warned free speech at universities will be lost if students fear listening to people whom woke activists object to. Charlie Bentley Astor, who studies English, highlighted the pressure on students by some staff and fellow scholars not to attend a lecture by gender critical author Helen Joyce. Many students intending to attend the debate backed out. They had seen the posters being torn down and heard their professors denounce the event with absolute self-assuredness. If the current culture of shame and intimidation has left people too afraid to even listen, what then is the future of free speech? Apathy and atrophy go hand in hand. And finally, after delays caused by the pandemic, a film exploring the life of John Wycliffe has now been released. Morning Star features veteran actor Jared Morgan as the famous Bible translator who challenged the might of the Roman Catholic Church during the 1300s. One of the earliest reformers, Wycliffe was known as the Morning Star of the Reformation, and the film examines his fight to make the Bible accessible to the common man, culminating in the first complete translation of the scriptures in English. John Wycliffe, heretic, shall stand before the papal court. You have but one choice. Wycliffe must burn. The church has lost its way. You are an unusual priest. This information shall be taken from this place. Why good sense? This I know. The truth will prevail. John Wycliffe challenged both the church and the state in different ways and uh, he found himself trapped between the two and our story will be investigating how these two huge institutions the church and the state were clashing and how Wycliffe in the middle was trying to find the path of truth between them both so it's, it's a fascinating story and we're really excited to be able to tell it. Screening dates can be found at morningstarfilm.co.uk Well that's all for this week for regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.